Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, C580 and I'm just gonna go over really quick the uh, torque application The torque app available on the uh, Android phones uh, For the car that uh, allows you to uh, Read and see what the car's computer is doing erase codes data log stuff like that um I posted a thread about it. A couple of you had some questions like what interface I was using. So just really quick, since there's already a ton of videos online. Uh, these are the two most common uh, interfaces you're going to find online on eBay. Uh, sorry if it doesn't focus. Uh, this was the first one I got. Um, since it's small, I was hoping it, it would... Uh, kind of fit in there and be out of the way uh, since I have long legs I'm six and a half feet tall I didn't want to plug something in and be hitting it with my legs unfortunately these do not work very well with American cars uh, such as Ford and Chevy which use what's called a protocol J1850 uh, which is a protocol the computer uses to communicate these don't read that very well but uh, it does work on my wife's Mitsubishi SUV uh, and on my Chrysler 200 so at least I can use it on that the one I had to order was this one right here and you can find these anywhere from like 10 to like 20 bucks on eBay mine was like 15 uh, this one seems to work pretty well it read the Corvette right away and uh, didn't have any problems with it and it plugs right under the car and uh, I don't have a problem as you can see there it's hard to see I don't have a problem hitting it with my legs so that's good uh, really quick this is uh, what the torque app looks like on uh, my phone you can see here so uh, just really quick you can look at um, different gauges that show you what the car is doing uh, you can check for codes you can GPS map where you've been driving uh, this has uh, it's backwards it's a, a HUD display so you can put it on your dash and read it off your windshield shows RPM and speed stuff like that um, this is the track record feature that allows you to take video while looking at different gauges and parameters you want to look at so just a quick look there it reads a uh, torque horsepower throttle position timing uh, the O2 sensors uh, transmission temperature so that's pretty cool um, it has this knock detention feature which uh, you go full throttle and it reads a computer as you're going full throttle to uh, make sure you don't have any detonation or knock so that's pretty cool uh, you can graph certain sensors and it'll lay it out in a graph for you and this lets you know the status of your Bluetooth connector. So let's get some power here. So we have some power. So, first of all, to get this to work with your phone you'd have to go to your Bluetooth settings and you can do uh, scan for devices and then this one came up as CHX so then you hit that to pair it and the code on this one is 6789 so usually it's going to ask you for a four digit pass key to connect and most of them are 0000 or 1234 um, this particular one is 6789 uh, so once you pair it 
you should be good to go. You go to uh, opening your torque app and you go to the status here and it'll say whether or not you're connected. Now right now it says not connected because I don't have it reading it. So you go to settings, adapter settings, Bluetooth device, and there it is, CHX. So click on that, go back and as you can see right here, it tells us that it's reading it. And when that stops blinking, that means that uh, it has read it. So, oh, one thing I forgot is it also allows you to have different profiles for different vehicles. My wife's Mitsubishi Endeavor, the Chrysler 200. So here's the VET, so I'll click on that and the VET is uh, specifically connected to this OBD2 interface so as you can see it stopped blinking that means it read it and then the little car starts blinking and that means it's communicating with the uh, computer the vehicle's computer so there we go we're now connected so if we go to the gauges we can see they're ready to read I'll put this here to make it easier for us now my car is pretty loud so I hope you guys could hear me I'm gonna turn on the vehicle uh, so as you can see it's uh, it's reading the timing it's reading the revs throttle position and the the bottom ones are my front O2 sensors and that lets you uh, know that they're working the way they should uh, you can also uh, choose different types of uh, displays or gauges and you can set them up however you want 0 to 60 time uh, intake manifold pressure uh, quarter mile times etc right here it's reading the, the DTC's uh, if you want to use the HUD display working and you can mount it wherever you want and you can't see right now it's not dark enough and you'll be able to uh, use it as a heads up the track recorder as you can see it's uh, it's reading all the gauges while taking video try to focus here so you could you could see the revs and then you can look at the uh, the O2s to make sure they're running good with your AFR gauge uh, it'll also um, test different parameters and sensors on the vehicle and tell you the status of them your O2 sensors etc as you can see I don't have rear O2's so those are red um, but just kinda of telling you the misfire counts knock detection stuff like that so it's just a pretty cool overall app you have torque scan so right here this is also reading uh, this is telling you all the parameters that the application is currently